I'm so no. glad you are here. What, what are you doing here? You are my friend, and you are now on my show. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be on your show. <laughs> we are so, so glad you are here. So let us talk. What would you like to talk about? Well, you know, I was I was trying to decide. We talk about so many interesting things all the time, and I I thought it would be really fun today to talk about the gap, <laughs> the gap between the idea or this impulse or saying that's what I want. The idea has an incredible high, like I'm so excited about that. Here's my idea. And then, especially if it's for something physical or doing something or having something or something like that, then it's like, oh, I don't have it now. Now I'm tired. Or I start working on it and then like, oh, that's too much work. <laughs> and and this kind of roller coastery of, of both feelings and then how we how we close that gap to instant manifesting. You are always instantly manifesting. Right? Every moment is a manifestation. Every idea is a manifestation. Every, literally, every single millisecond you are changing. Your world is changing. And that is because of you. So realizing your power is the first thing. If you have a thought, and what that thought is, is not completely present in the next millisecond, it does not mean you have no power. It is present somewhere. You may just not be able to see it because of how you are focusing. That is really the key to what you are wanting to know. How do I see what I want to see, right? How do I see what I want to see? Yeah. You must focus in that direction. You must believe you can see it. Do you believe you can see it? That is the question, <laughs> right? R right, and and I think even sometimes I have disassociated my body with, you know, I I can fly out there in, in ideas way easier than I can anchor them here and 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 feel them inside of my body. Like I, I can say, cool, that's cool over there, but it's not necessarily mine. I think in that word choice, you are doing yourself a disservice because it is all yours. You are not going with you when you leave your body. Of course you are. You are coming back to you when you come back to your body. Of course you are. You are all those things, right? Yes. 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 And I love that you make that okay. You know, like, <laughs> like I, I obviously was adding a judgment. I was true. judging that. <laughs> yes. So that is really, that is really the point, right? You want your physical world to be joyful and full of love and bliss and abundance, yet are you allowing that in your heart? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, and sometimes your things show up, right? Yes, and I was thinking about yesterday, I had an idea in my business about doing a course and actually th the course is all done, but then I thought, oh, it'd be really, really cool to have a workbook, to a real workbook that I could mail to people. And so I started to, you know, do work on that. I was really excited about it and pulling up the pictures and everything that would be in it. And then I got tired <laughs> and I was like, I, no, this isn't for me to do. And in that moment, I knew I still wanted my workbook. <laughs> and I didn't see who it was for to do. And so I got stuck in this kind of how place. You know, well, how is that going to happen if I'm not doing it? <laughs> then you wait. Then you get into a receiving mode and you wait. You mentioned that you were tired before that realization. And so you might need to spend a little more time getting back into alignment, into that place of receiving, right? Right. Yes. But you managed to receive the fact that it is not for you. It was draining you. So that is good. Yes. And I think that that has been a pattern, of course, that when I start to look at those those patterns, it, I would almost call it like sloppy thinking. <laughs> yes. 
And so is there, do you, do you like specific ways to get out of sloppy thinking? <laughs> yes, not focus on it. When you come up with ideas from a place of not feeling good, those ideas will not help you feel good, right? So do not try to correct sloppy thinking while you are sloppy thinking. You need to change where you are vibrationally first, right? To access the solution. Always go to the better feeling place before finding that solution. If you think you find a solution while you are still feeling poorly, you are not helping yourself get anywhere, right? You will be traveling along that same line of not feeling good. So always feel better, always love yourself more, always attend to you and relax, right? Relax, love yourself, cherish your time, go there. All is there. That is everything you want. That is the focus you want to have. That is how your, your things show up because you are not thinking to yourself, I am not worthy of that. That could never show up. That thought is gone, right? That is what you want to happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so then simply choosing in that moment and no noticing, first of all, that I'm not in alignment, like that I'm not in a good place. And you then did, choosing. and that was great. Yeah. yeah, I did, yes, exactly. Saying, okay, this isn't working. <laughs> Don't do this. Then do something else. I, I think that's really exciting because it's about this self-care piece. And I, I, I think, you know, I haven't been accustomed. I think maybe it's part of our whole world. We're not really accustomed to taking care of ourselves or, or thinking that it's okay to do nothing or, or to do something just for us. <laughs> Is there like a worldwide message in all of this that says, <laughs> you know, we talk a lot about this. It's just about me, right? And yet somehow in, in all the world things going on, it feels like there should be some <laughs> epic shift in, in all of this that, that, is a almost a micro shift that says everyone just love yourself a little more <laughs> well that message is out there you can find it right it is not like a secret that anyone is keeping from you it is just that you cannot see it if you're not in the vicinity of it it doesn't make sense to you you're mad at that right if you are not near that it is infuriating to hear that right that's yes, a good point. So <laughs> it is a very personal thing. Everyone is on a personal journey. And that is the point. That is the point. No one else needs to change for you to change. No one else needs to change for you to change and inspire others, right? So then as as we move along the continuum, you know, it's I feel like I'm constantly in, in more awareness of something that, that shows up and then simply seeing it sometimes is shocking or even um, disappointing. Like, oh, I've been doing all this work and then yet here's this thing <laughs> that I've been doing or saying or, or being that's not really in alignment with who I want to move forward into be. Then I go into disappointment in myself as opposed to saying, okay, let's keep looking at that. Let's keep looking where we want to go. I, I kind of take a side trip. <laughs> that says, you know, you, you know better, you know these things, you know, you know whatever you think you know. <laughs> right, well, let's just go there. So in that moment when you are judging yourself, it doesn't feel good, right? So the greater part of you is not agreeing. The greater part of you is looking straight ahead and thinking, wow, Jean is the most wonderful person on the whole entire galaxy front and we will not go with her and her opinion of herself so she can go over there and sulk a little but we aren't staying here doesn't it feel like that yes yes like i put my little child in the corner and we're just gonna <laughs> sit on that little chair and you can of course right you can do that but it does not 
move you forward with where you are wanting to go. So in context to your question, you are living in the gap in that moment and not looking toward it, looking back at where you started, right? In just right. plain focus terms, you are focusing on where you used to be instead of on where you want to be. So are there, I, I hear you. Yes. <laughs> I hear you. And, and do you find that there are some, I, I guess I keep saying, <laughs> <laughs> I yes, keep looking for something. Let it be okay. okay that saying, you are let it be human. focus. Just focus. And I keep saying, well, is there a practice for that? <laughs> yes, there it is. Love yourself. Let yourself be fallible and human and growing. And but we do encourage you to meditate. We do encourage you to have a movement. We do encourage you to find a place of relaxation. Find a place of appreciation. And, and of course, the, you know, it, it's funny, how, you know, as your friend, right? We've been hanging out in this space for a long time talking about a lot of these things. And and I, I keep wondering, are we going to talk about it forever? <laughs> and and yet it's fun. You know, I find it to be a that fun place of being human. You know, like we get to learn new things and discover new things and try new things or make it a new game, like I like to call it, <laughs> and, and hang out inside of that. And so I'm hearing you say that we just, we're continually progressing. Is is that how you would say that? Maybe this is what you need to hear the most. There's a shift. It is not your progression that anyone cares about. No one cares about that. You could stand in the same place all your life and we would not care. And we don't even care about this. We just see the possibility here. Are you enjoying yourself? If we care about anything, it is, are you enjoying yourself? You can dig the same hole for weeks. Just sit down in your backyard, dig a hole. Are you enjoying yourself? We are mad for that. So excited about that. We do not care about what it is you think you are trying to create, where you think you are trying to go. You will drive yourself crazy if you are living for that. Do not live for progression. Live for enjoyment. Everything will come to you. You are not going toward anything. The gap is not you and then getting to where you want to go. The gap is you and allowing that thing to come to you. Does that help? That's incredibly helpful. Yes, I, I, yes, because I was having it in my head like we're going somewhere, <laughs> you know, like the, there's there's some destination that we're getting to. Yes, the destination I, is you enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that that's more like an adventure. That we're sitting here and, and having an adventure inside of our enjoyment. <laughs> yes. Or whatever else you'd call it. Yes, it's personal, right? Some person might enjoy cross-stitching on their couch for a week straight, right? That might not be an adventure, but, you know, for some others, it is What You understand. Everyone's, everyone's choices are different, but you will all enjoy yourselves in some way. So what about this movement of, like, goal setting or smart goals you know there's this very much inside of business of, of having you know this is where we want to go and this is what we want to be and we here's our numbers and here's our markers and and this is how we can measure it and that's how we know if we got there well how does it feel to you it, it feels like an exercise in just doing this <laughs> it feels like you're just doing something for doing it um th there's not a lot of joy in it i see joy however in achieving something that I always wanted. Well, think about it. Think about what has come to you that you have always wanted. Did it come because of these smart goals or did it come because you were letting yourself enjoy where you were? Mostly from enjoying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so and what about yes. the not mostly? What about the exceptions? I guess I see that as sometimes it has a goal like that has me then 
do something that I actually really did want to do that brings me joy, but for some reason, I'm not doing it. So what we are trying to get at is that these things you call strategies can be a path of least resistance, right? But you are the only one that will know because they will be inspired if that is the case, right? And then the key is not to focus on the completion of that strategy. If you got joy out of one step of that strategy, that might have been the point all along. And in that case, who cares about the rest of it, right? Refocus on how you feel in every moment and you will get to where you want much quicker. Do not put any authority outside of you, right? Yes, I, I see that distinction. I, I, I absolutely see that distinction. And my brain kind of wanted it to be either or. <laughs> of course, as but, to. but that, who is the God here? It's you, this is not a book or a strategy or any other smart person, right? They all have their own authority, but you are the only one who knows what is right for you. That makes sense because I had, I had a dream uh, earlier this weekend when I woke up, something popped up on a screen that was ab about that and it was a little program I'm like, ooh, I need that. And I went and bought it and I did it. And I did it like two times and I'm like, oh, that was enough. And I was done. And it was interesting because I could see in that moment, I think that there's, because it was so inexpensive, I was really able to say, oh, I did it, you know, for the time that it was needed and now, that was all I needed. I don't have to continue with the rest. There wasn't anything else there for me. And it was easy for me to let it go because I didn't attach some other sort of value to it. So now when the stakes are higher, higher in my world, like more money or more time or more connection with someone, sometimes I look outside of myself. So it is closing that gap actually then. Yes. Cool. Yes. Okay. I'm really excited Stay here, about that. Right? Stay here. That is a closed gap, right? It's closed gap as you can get staying here. Yes. <laughs> well, that makes total sense. We feel that for you. We felt that clicking for you. Yes. And now look at you. You feel your power. You feel it. We see it. Yes. 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 We are handing you the glitter. You you have glitter today. <laughs> <Yay! laughs> we'll put glitter on now. That's cool. <laughs> that no, that I, I got it. Thank you. Yes. yes, we are so happy. That was a great conversation. Thank you. Excellent. Well, my friends, I I believe we are complete. Yes. 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 We we feel this. Thank you for watching with us. We love you so much and we hope to see you next time. Thank you, Jean, for being here. Thank you for having me.